Hello everyone, I think I've tried to start a couple of times now but I've been stuck listening to the intro screen music. I don't know what you would actually call this, I, I always call them intro screens but either way, it's kind of, I don't know, I don't know how you describe this music but I've really enjoyed actually just sitting here listening to it. It's kind of upbeat, makes you want to get in. It's probably not going to feature in the game, it's probably just title screen music but Either way, it's been fun to listen to. Anyway, this is Wild Planet. This is just the demo for it. The planned release date is the 23rd of October 2024. So if you're watching this after that date, this is now available. But before that date, we just have the demo. So this is all we've got to look at so far. Uh, I've not played this yet. There is a multiplayer mode, as we can see down here, that's going to be available. Apparently it crashes if you try and press the multiplayer mode. I tested it again just to make sure it wasn't just uh, a spoof. Uh, yeah, no, don't click the multiplayer because it will crash your game. Anyway, we're not here for the multiplayer. We are here for the single player offline mode. So let's load that up. Okay, so we when we go in, uh, let's go and create a character. So who are we? Who are we? Do we not have a... No, no, random. Okay, fine. Uh, different mustaches different beards, different hair. Oh, it kind of looks like Matt Mercer, I don't think. Here's the hair. Maybe we'll just go with that. Uh, yeah, that looks all fine to me. Enter a character name. Well, considering we just said that looked like Matt Mercer, I kind of feel like we should go with Matt. So there we go, we have Matt here. We're just gonna use this guy to start a new game. Do I want to load from a save? Well, I don't have a save, so I'm just going to click confirm and see what that's about. Oh, what is happening here? Press E. What am I pressing E on? Oh, okay, so not pressing E on anything yet. Well, this is a an intro. I love the shadow on that. Like, it's silly. It is very silly, but it's kind of fun. That shadow is so exaggerated, especially if you come up here. It looks like we've come out of this chamber. That's really loud. One second, I'm gonna turn that down. Cool, now I can hear myself think. Right. Oh, you leave little footprints as you run too. That's kind of cool. And we can jump. Okay, so it looks like we've come out of this cryopod of sorts. This one's malfunctioning. It also looks like no one else is in these but me. So that's unfortunate. Uh, we do, however, have to... Ooh, that is... Equip your spacesuit. You have opened a storage crate on your right. You have storage onto your left inventory. Okay. So this is the storage over here. We want to move this over to here. I don't know whether that's... We've equipped it. I was just trying to find... Uh, do we put this on here? Okay, so we put this on here. We've got crafting menu here. Blueprints. Uh, this is a character, so we currently have one strength, one dexterity. Nothing else in our inventory. I was just seeing if I could move the camera around, but it's right mouse button. Okay, cool. That's fair. Right, let's go through here and find out what on earth is happening around here. That doesn't look good. I don't think that should be happening. Can I repair all of this stuff? Or am I just supposed to be running? Whoa, okay. Chill. <laughs> I get it, the ship's falling apart. Right, press F or click. Let's just click that. Okay, so we just got four planks. Press F or click. We've got some gunpowder, some an iron bars, metal pipes, and gear. What was the button for infantry? I. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, gears, right, literally gears. Okay, fine. I didn't know if it meant like gear as in something you wear, tactician kind of gear, or what is this? A uh, crafting station. Can we... Is this why it's given us this stuff? So if we put in... Uh, what does it want? Two gears. Uh, let's put four in. Two even, can't count. Um, four iron bars. Okay. No, there was a metal pipe. Okay, oh no, these are iron bars, right. Can I click those into there? Uh, we need four of those. 
and then hello there we go um two planks craft okay it's in the queue to be crafted it's going around a little bit there there we go crafted cool we have a rifle nice and then i think we're gonna need some bullets so we're gonna want iron bars yep sure let's put those in let's take those out because uh, then we want gunpowder in yeah sure and then we'll craft 10 of those okay so you have to wait okay oh so you do get you get a few from that so it looks like you get 15 uh let's move all those over and let's take the stuff back out yep uh how do we put that stuff on our bar uh inventory there we go put that on hot bar i don't know if we have to have the bullets on the hot bar no not by the looks of it okay right there we go so how do we shoot this good question i'm sure it'll tell us in a second there's a bug over here what does it want no that's just running towards it let's not just go running towards it is it oh no we definitely want that out okay so you just click it and it takes them out okay that's fine uh let's take those legs why not we never know when we're gonna need some alien eggs uh okay we've got to press e over here i'm guessing this is our little space shuttle that's taking us down to the planet and we're down on the planet. Yep, it looks like we kind of crash landed on the planet. So I think we can like salvage from this. Salvage. That was a mix of two words. That was kind of salvage and scavenge. But hey, maybe we've just coined a new term. How about we scavenge this? Not by the looks of it. Okay, I can see some things on the beach. How did we... Oh, you just shoot. Okay. And we get something for that. Oh, a tentacle. Nice. Okay. I'm not sure we need to be wasting bullets on that. Look. Was this here a second ago? Can we do anything with this? No. Not by the looks of it. Okay. Uh, it wants us to go this way, though, because there's a big question mark on the map. I wish I could, like, move in. I prefer to sort of, like, see like the point of view of games rather than just a top-down view but i think this looks like more of a top-down kind of game so we'll just go with it for now we pick up the rock no nope, can't pick up the rock okay well this seems to be the question mark on the map so let's have a look at this new points of interest available on your map okay how do we get to the map we press m okay it's pretty normal for games We've got a bridge up here. What's that say? There seems to be a way to get onto the mainland from this point. There's a blueprint down there. Seems to be a lost piece of technology. Weird radiation. Probably don't want to go there. And a cave. In full caps, cave. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know if these things... No, these things don't seem particularly unfriendly. So maybe we won't go and shoot the first thing that we see in the wildlife. These things are highlightable, so I assume that we can pick them or do something with them at some point. I can't currently do anything, which concerns me because by the looks of it... What does this do? Oh, build menu. Okay. Uh, is that a coffin? Oh, it's a sleeping bag. <laughs> okay. I totally thought that was a coffin. Never mind. Um, we want a backpack, first of all. Um, okay. How do we get these things? Sticks, flint, and fiber. Okay, so how do we get sticks, flint, and fiber? I feel like we don't want that anymore. That, I think, needs a an axe to chop down. So can we just pick up these things now? Now that we don't have the gun in our hands. We've got some berries from that. That's going to be useful. We're going to need food soon. Got some more food from that. We got plant fiber from that. Okay, fine. So these ones are plant fiber. The tentacly looking things that are coming out of the ground are plant fiber. Some more of it. Uh, some more berries. 
what else have we got? I think this is a stick. Yep, got a stick. And then we want some stones. Can I pick some more sticks? Nice. Some more stones. So you can't pick up anything while something's in your hand, which is useful to know. You gotta put the gun away before you can pick something up, which, I mean, you do in real life, so it's not too far fetched. Right, can we craft anything now? How do we get to the craft menu? That one. Right, so we want. So for that, we need. So for this one, we need sticks, flint. We've got enough fiber for that. Uh, stone sword? Yeah, let's make a stone sword. Just in case. So we need sticks, flint. Ah, uh, that's a pickaxe. Excuse me? Hello? What was the, the sudden chime? You eat this to increase your food and health bar. That's not really how bandages usually work, but... Sure. Right, we've got a full inventory apparently, so let's put that on the bar. What do we do with these? Uncooked meat from insects may be considered unconventional. Eating it is un considered unconventional. Cut meat from squids. Okay. Highland berries. Well, let's just eat a couple of those then. Because we need the space, let's just eat some stuff and we're also on sort of like half health, half hunger even already. So let's keep walking this way. I don't remember what one this was, but it was a point on the map that I saw. So let's have a look around. I'm guessing this thing here is what we wanted. Bob the Builder. Original. I've been doing maintenance on these buildings for a while and I do not know why, but there seems to be something that breaks apart these machines. Got it? Okay. Cool. Well, I'm guessing this thing that's got its own orbit is probably the thing that's been breaking its machines. If, if I had to guess. What's this? A chest. Oh! That's useful. Can we transfer everything? Deposit. Deposit. Nice, nice. Okay. We can use this chest here for now. Let's just dump most things in. We might want those, we definitely want those, we want those. Uh, let's just put those in there for now. Yeah, cool. Cool, we'll keep this as like a little base of operation for now. Can I go inside here? Mm, not by the looks of it. Oh, there's another chest here. Ooh, food, nice. Can we take everything from here? No. What did Tab do? I'm confused. What does Tab do? Tab just comes out of here, I think. Can I... I... I'm clicking to drag this, but... Oh, oh, it's in my inventory. Okay, fine. It seems to be resisting. So you click it once and I thought you'd just drag it out, but it, it doesn't seem to always want to move it. Which is a little bit weird. Uh, I'm going to put everything in one chest because I hate going backwards and forwards to places. So let's just deposit all those. Do they stack? They do stack. Nice. I don't want to manually go through and stack everything. So having it auto stack is quite nice. I'm not going to make you watch me click through uh, an inventory. So let me just sort out this stuff here. I'm stuck. Okay, we've rifled through pretty much all of the camp now so let's just go and grab some bits and pieces interestingly enough when I opened one of the chests it let me just right click everything into it which is a little weird I just learned that you can punch trees which doesn't seem to be doing much I must admit if anything at all I mean I was trying to click this rock but apparently I'm just stuck here punching trees so uh, no let's not punch the tree I'm looking for flint. I don't actually know where flint comes from because I'm trying to make a stone axe and we need one bit of flint. So I'm just wandering around trying to find out where we get flint from. That is myself. What is this? Oh. I can beat the sulfur but nothing happens. Oh. 
I went into a cave? I probably don't want to be here. I don't have any reason to come into a cave yet because I don't have any tools and there's bugs. So I should probably not be here yet. But it's good to know that it's here. I uh, will come back to this place. Just been running around here gathering bits and pieces uh, to try and make crafting a little easier. And one thing I will say is that the sprint in this is not ideal. Um, you can see this bar up here that's like 0 out of 203 and that's a sprint bar basically and it doesn't refill. Like I understand having a sprint bar so that you can you know, run quicker but not for a, a full amount of time but this one just doesn't seem to refill anymore or it, it just refills too slowly. Like I'm at 2 now because I, I'm not sprinting anymore and I thought maybe standing still might help with that. Like you know sometimes there's games where you use all your sprint but if you stand still for a, a couple of minutes you get your your or your sprint juice back but no this one seems to be a case of it just comes back very slowly so it's very easy to use all of the sprint very uneasy to get it all back it's it's just i don't know I, if i'm running around grabbing a load of resources i want to be able to sprint for a little bit and then just stop recoup some of that and then sprint again like i, I hate the fact that i can't just sprint around and then stop for a couple of seconds to get it all back and then sprint around a bit more. It just it makes especially in single player like in multiplayer it's probably not that bad but there's a big bug chasing me excuse me. Or oh, maybe he's not chasing us. Okay he was just coming over here all right fine. Uh, but yeah no please don't do this. Like, if you're developing a game and you want people to be able to sprint but only for a short amount of time, fine. Like, I don't have any problems with that. But don't put a sprint on such a long cooldown. Especially when you have uh, a game like this which calls itself an open world. It's like sandbox kind of game. You are going to want to sprint places. You're going to want to, especially early game, like you might want to fly or teleport or do something a bit later on. Oh, Flint! Nice. Um, but yeah, you might want to like do some, something later that means that you don't have to sprint places, but very early game, having a long sprint is just, it's, it doesn't feel good. It, from a player's perspective, it just doesn't feel good. I seem to have a friend. I don't seem to be able to attack said friend. Oh, he doesn't take any damage. That's, that's good. We like that. So it looks like maybe I shouldn't be here if I can't attack it or if I attack it and do very little damage. I probably shouldn't be in this area. But this is where the flint is, so <laughs> I guess it's a, a risk reward kind of thing. In games like this where you want to get sort of resources. Wait, did my gun break? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, apparently it did. But the, gu the gun is gone. So I have all of this ammo and no gun. Okay. Oh, well, I definitely didn't mean to attack this guy, but... Uh, sorry about that. I was going for the flint, which apparently doesn't exist here. Can I pick up this flint? There we go. We'll just decimate the community while we're here. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, originally, going back to what I was originally saying, in games like this where you want to grab a bunch of resources, and again, especially early game, you want to overgather early so that you don't have to keep running backwards and forwards. So like... I'm picking up a load of stone like I probably do not need this amount of stone or like this amount of fiber or uh, any of the stuff that I've been gathering down here but I'd rather just gather it once so that I have it so that I can just do craft and just do whatever it is that I need to do to get to the next bit so that I just don't have to come back here to do this. I've lost the camp already where were we? Well, we need to go that way okay and the sprint isn't even really that quick in comparison like i really don't feel me running versus me sprinting was actually that much faster and to have that come back so slowly it doesn't feel good i don't know if you could hear that but that was my dog he's uh currently having a really good dream apparently 
That involves lots of barking. Anyway, we have got the grumblies of the stomachs, so let's uh, eat some stuff that I have. We've got some melons here, so let's just use those. Munch on those, munch on those. I'm just gonna eat all of them, because it doesn't tell us uh, food in these menus, so I oh know it does, I lied. So just gonna munch on some melons, and while we're here, just to get everything back up, let's also munch on that. Uh, I did get attacked by a big bug thing as I was running around, so we are not great on health, but I'm not too concerned about that. What I am concerned about is getting some stuff crafted, because we don't even have basic tools yet. So let's craft a stone axe. That's crafting. Uh, I think it's going to be night time soon, so I'm going to craft a torch. How many torches do we get out of that? One torch. Okay, fine. Uh, and the next thing we want to do uh, is work on getting a workbench, I think, or I need light leather for that. Need light leather for that. Now we did get some light leather here, so let's see if we can. Can we craft from here? No, we cannot craft it from there. Um, <laughs> let's create a backpack because I hate not having enough space in my inventory for things. So we have one backpack in our inventory. Do we need to wear that? Yes, we do. Oh, beautiful. Look at all the space. Let's also put the torch on our inventory. Put that on a hot bar. So now we should be able to go swoop some trees down. Let's see how much we do on this. Okay doesn't take stamina, which is nice. I thought at first it did, but it doesn't. So we're getting some sticks from this and some experience, which is nice. Takes a little while, but to be fair, I did start with the biggest tree I could see. Also starting to become night now. So I'm hoping we don't find any roaming enemies at night and we can just continue doing our stuff here. I do like the music that's going on in the background. It's kind of nice. It's nice to listen to. Very upbeat. I'm gonna spend some time over gathering here just cutting down some trees. I'm gonna craft myself a campfire just so that we've got something to keep us warm and or give us light. Oh, uh, Let's put that yeah, let's build that there. Do we need to light it? Add wood and it'll burn until it runs out. Okay. Uh, how about if we add sticks instead? Can we add sticks? Yes, you can. Okay, so sticks probably don't burn for as long. Uh, but at least, yeah, so it's down here. It looks like one stick gives... About, I don't know, I, I don't actually know how long that was because it was counting down and then it refreshed itself. Um, so I guess we are going to have to put some wood in it. It's fine, let's just put five in. Turn that on. Okay. So it looks like you get about, it counts up for some reason rather than down, which is a little odd. Normally if you've got a resource, resource that's burning in a fire it would count down not up but that's what they've chosen to do which is fine we've got our torch out probably shouldn't have our torch out but yeah see like my axe is nearly dead and all I've done is cut down two maybe three trees I think well to be fair they were two big trees but there's not a lot of durability in an axe which is why I always overgather things why is my hunger and my sprint stamina whatever you want to call it it keeps stamina keeps bouncing between 213 and 203 i'm not entirely sure why i'm not i didn't think i was sprinting no no i'm not sprinting oh campfire went out <laughs> okay so you really do need quite a little bit of wood in this what about if we put fiber in does fiber work Fiber doesn't work. Okay. 
that's fine. Oops, I did not mean to put rocks in there. But it looks like we've cooked some meat, which is nice because I think hunger's going to be a problem. So I guess because I cannot see anything, we will put the rest of that in. That seems like the perfect place to leave though, so if you got this far into the video, thank you very much. If you liked or subscribed during this video, thank you so much. It means a lot to a small channel like mine. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!